Dif the differences between the Treaty of Versailles and the War on Terror are that the Allies surrendered after suffering a sufficient amount of casualties. However, when Osama bin Laden was confronted by Navy SEALs, he was killed instead of surrendering. The fallout of the war of World War One is that Germany is not was not allowed to have an army. And for the war on terror, um, Al Qaeda promised that they would seek revenge in the United States for the death of their leader. Following World War I, Adolf Hitler rose to power and became the Führer of Germany. One of the predicted leaders for Al-Qaeda is an Egyptian Muslim named Ayman al zawahin He is the leader, he is one of the leaders of the Egyptian Al-Qaeda and he is fluent in English as well as, well as Arabic. In World War I, the people celebrated very peacefully by having parades with soldiers from the war. However, in the War on Terror, people celebrated much more crazily by jumping in the streets, hanging from light poles, and yelling, yelling like, like crazy. crazy. In World War I, we were brought into the war due to Germany having problems with us trying to team up with Mexico to take us down. In the War on Terror, we were directly attacked on 9-11 when Osama bin Laden had two commercial air jets crash into the World Trade Center. The main reason we lost troops in World War I was because of trench wars, where troops just shot endlessly firing at each other, and no one really got anywhere. Well, in the War of, War of Terror, the main thing that started it was that when two, cr two planes crashed into the Twin Towers. In World War I, the U.S. spent 12, $22 billion and 10 million people died total. And while only 3,000 people died on 9-11, 1.1 trillion U.S. dollars have been spent on the war on terror. The policy that the Allies took on Hitler was appeasement.
The policy of the U.S. should take on al-Zahiri, the new leader of al-Qaeda, is appeasement also. Hitler took the Allies' appeasement to his advantage and took over Czechoslovakia. Al Zahiri could take could take US's appeasement to his advantage and possibly attack the US.